Hey there, uh, I'm Matthias from Improvement Soft, and I'd like to show you how you can validate the quality of your topics in Matcap Flare using the new Mad Quality plugin. So the Mad Quality plugin is a QA tool to validate both the structure and the contents of your topics and the writing. Um, so let's get to it. Uh, here I have a topic that I just wrote and I would like to, I feel pretty happy about it. Uh, so I'd like to validate this against the Microsoft Manual of Style. And the plugin does come with a lot of rules, default rules from the man Microsoft Manual of Style. And in addition to that, it has a lot of structural rules. You can set up your own rules based on your own style guide. That's very easy to do. But for now, I'm just gonna use the default rules. So let's see what happens when I click to validate the topic. Um, so it tells me I'm awesome. That's nice. Um, so let's see, let's start from the bottom. Okay. So it tells me that there is a paragraph wrapped in a paragraph and uh, that's not good. It might look weird in the output. So let's see. Oh yeah. Uh, here it is. So I'm going to unbind one of them. That's fine. I'm going to go back and it tells me I should use doesn't instead of does not. Okay. That's fine. So I should use doesn't uh, and go back and I shouldn't use URL. I should use uh, address instead. Okay. But maybe I can just remove this all together. Save it. That's fine. Um, okay. Now here's a rule, by the way, down to the right, there's a link to the Microsoft manual style to sort of see the reasons behind this rule. Um, so I want to avoid the, an acronym in the heading. So I should not say MQP. I should say mad quality plugin. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, the file name must not contain a space. So here I've set up a custom rule to make sure that my file names do not have spaces in them because I want them to work on all kinds of systems. So I need to rename the file here. I really need to remove the space. All right, like so. And now I'm going to check the quality again. And no rules were broken. All right, so this is a very good way to sort of ensure the basic quality of your topics before passing them on for uh, a more thorough edit, right, of the, of the content itself. So this helps you weed out any potential quality issues that could be could be automated. And this is going to save you so much time. And I sort of wish I had something like this when I worked as a tech writer uh, using Flare, which uh, of course, in a way I still do. So <laughs> I'm happy the plugin is here. Um, all right. So what else can you check? Well, I know that's in some cases you can, you might have a hard line break in a heading, not sure how it ended up there, but now you have it and it looks weird. So this is something you can check for. Uh, oh, it seems like my header has a line break. I just added that. So that seems seems about right. So I need to uh, delete that one, save it again. And apparently I just got a text message. Super. Um, but uh, what else can you do? Well, you can sort of set up your own rules and you do that uh, in a spreadsheet where you can modify any of the existing rules. You can disable them. You can add new ones. You can remove the old ones. You can just, you can, customize this just the way you want it and just the way you need it using your own style guide and it's not limited to scanning a single topic at a time you can scan all of them uh, at, at once you can scan the whole project which may take a bit of time or you could validate all of the topics in a table of contents files um, but anyways uh, this is it uh, and go if you want to give it a try there is a 14 day free trial over at improvementsoft.com. You can just go there, click the plugins tab and put in your email address and you can download our free 14 day trial. And if you want to continue using it after the trial, you can just go and buy it on, on the website. All right. So I hope you give it a try and I think it's going to save you a lot of time and frustration. And if you have questions, you know, feel free to email me at Matthias at improvementsoft.com. So that's M A T T I A S at improvementsoft.com. Uh, all right. Thanks for watching.